My experiences at school and early levels of studying, the way that I thought the world worked meant that I approached my studying with the idea that I needed to know the answer. And in order to know the answer, it meant that I needed to have all the information before I touched any kind of problem solving or any kind of question. So it didn't make sense to me to, to look at a problem or look at a question before I knew all the information relating to it. And everything about school and my early levels of studying embedded that. I didn't realize that was how I thought. It just was. I never questioned that. If you gave me a question um, before you gave me the information, I'd be like, I can't do this. I can't do this because you haven't given me the information. So my personality style is collect all the information first so that you, you make decisions and you do things based on knowing what the right answer is. You, know, you can't know what you're supposed to do if you don't have all the information. That made sense to me. I want to know the answer before I do something. I don't want to make decisions and then realize that I only had half the information. That, that's illogical. It's irrational. It doesn't make sense. And it feels irresponsible. As you get to later levels of your studying and in your professional life, though, you realize the reality of the world is that you're presented with a problem first. And then you have to go and figure out what information you need in order to solve that problem. So this is a complete swap around. In terms of my understanding of how the world works, this was completely foreign to me. And yet this is how the world works predominantly, right? You don't revise a topic before a client comes and sits in front of you at your desk and says, um, hey, this is the problem that I have. You know, we don't have a crystal ball that tells us what our client, what the next client that walks through the door is going to be struggling with. It could be anything. We don't know. We don't know whether or not the client that sits in front of us is going to ask us something that we've had experience with, had some experience with, or had no experience with. Our responsibility is to say, let me understand the problem. Let me, like, let me understand the problem. And then let me think about the information that I need in order to solve that problem. So my understanding of how the world works was now completely turned on its ear. And it didn't make sense to me. I didn't know how on earth you're supposed to approach case studies and supposed to approach questions when you didn't have all the information. I knew that I didn't have all the information, so I didn't touch questions. It didn't make sense to me. And I know that most of my students have similar experiences. They come from similar places, similar backgrounds, similar learning experiences. And so their understanding of how the world works is very much the same. There are other personality styles out there who love the idea of being faced with problems that they've never seen before, don't have the knowledge for, and now their, you know, their goal, their quest is to go run around and find and research new things and find new things and experiment and explore. For me, that was, that, that doesn't make any sense to me, especially not with something like accounting, you know. Why would you do that? There is either a right answer or a wrong answer. And if you know all the stuff, then you will know the answer. So this particular style of thinking definitely impacted my studying because I would wait until I had all the knowledge that I felt I needed to answer any question before I would touch a question. A different personality style would start by saying, tell me what the problems are. Tell me the type of problems you have, and then I will go figure out what information I need and build the skills in order to help you with your problem. Two completely different styles of thinking. Both have value, both have pros and cons, but there's no question that unfortunately the second one is closer to how the world works. You don't get a heads up about the type of problem that your next client is going to bring you. You need to have the skill to look at the problem with the discomfort of knowing I don't know the answer straight away. If my client says to me straight away, like, what's the answer here? I'm going to have to say, oh, I don't know yet. That would not be something I was comfortable with. To say to my client, oh, that's a good question. You know, I don't actually know. I'm going to have to talk to someone else about this. I'm going to have to find out. I'm going to have to get back to you on that. And I kind of think it could be or this relates a little bit to that, but I'm actually not sure. 
giving that answer to my client, you know, in my earlier levels of studying, the idea of saying that would have been horrifying. You can't say that to your client. The very reason that they've come to you is because you're supposed to know all the answers. So these two styles of thinking impact the way we study. I would wait until I collected all the knowledge that I felt I needed before I touched a question versus taking a look at a bunch of questions and understanding the types of problems that I would have to face and then going to go and find and build my knowledge base that I would need in order to solve problems like it. Completely swapped around. Totally swapped around. The problem with exams, obviously, is that you have a very limited time. And the amount of time that I spent before my exams gathering all the knowledge that I needed was far too much. I didn't leave enough space. I couldn't. I didn't have enough space between all the knowledge gathering and my exam to figure out how to actually use all of this stuff to solve problems. It was a challenge. It was a challenge. This style of thinking impacted the way that I study and it will impact the way you study too. Your preference for information first or understanding the problem first will impact how you study. And it, it makes sense for you to take a look at the style of exams you have, the style of assessments, the goals you're working towards and go, which one of these styles are more likely to get me to my goal? Comfortable or not, I, you know, whether it's something that I'm comfortable with or not, I have to ask the question. Which makes more sense, given the goal that I'm working towards?